What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Eagles fans, ain't nobody worried about y'all. We not, we not, we not. Real Cowboys fans stand up, and you are now tuned into the Cowboys fans only channel. So if you are new, do us a huge favor, comment, like, subscribe, somewhere down there, somewhere down there, somewhere down there. And be sure to turn the notification bell to stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys news and content. Of course, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at JTuck151, and of course, CowboysFansOnly.com. But yo, Cowboys Nation, not only the players, the coaches, the fan base, I feel like Cowboys Nation right now, we all need to zen out. Zen out. Now, if you can't, if you watch my show this summer, we had... Uh, Stacy Hartman, who is an NFL yoga instructor, she trains NFL players, NBA players, does an incredible job. And she was teaching us how to breathe, relax, focus on important things. And I feel like when you watch this Dallas Cowboys team right now, everybody is too tense, not only on the field, but off the field. I mean, I watched Dak Prescott's interview. He's kind of getting chippy and spicy at the media. That's not really Dak. That's not Dak. Like, Dak is chippy, is spicy, maybe on the field, but against the media, that's not really Dak's thing, right? Now we have Amari Cooper, who was out at the Mavs game, and CeeDee Lamb, who was out at the Mavs game. Now, I'll say this. I'm not going to turn this to a C-19 debate. Not just Amari Cooper, right? Um, But I get it. I understand. I mean, hell, I was trying to be at the Mavs game last night. For those who know, I'm a huge Mavs fan, and Dirk is my guy, right? So... It was a monumental moment. I just think you have to be kind of aware of the spotlight and the circumstances. If you're going to be a Dallas Cowboys player and you're going to go to a Mavs game, get a suite. Get a suite. Stay out of the clear eye view, right? You don't need to be courtside, mask off, popcorn. <laughs> you know, it's just a bad look. Now, am I concerned about it? Like others on Twitter, like people on Twitter are freaking the hell out about this. He needs to be off the team. And, and, you know you know how people get with the situation, right? But it looks like Amari Cooper might be fine because I guess with NFL COVID protocol, if you are unvaccinated and you're seen out and about without a mask, then you could be fine, even though he was at the Alabama game at AT&T Stadium out and about without a mask, and that was perfectly fine, but now he's at the mask game. But just, you know. Um, so I feel like right now, Amari Cooper is starting for the first time in his career in Dallas. Feel some pressure, right? He already had the two games out with COVID. You know, he's kind of been disappearing, whether that's him kind of being lazy and being kind of, you know, lethargic with running routes and him and Dak not really being in sync and now him being seen out. So you're starting to see some of that Dallas pressure amount on Amari Cooper. Now, I will say this, Cowboys Nation. You have to be extremely delicate when it comes to how you're going to monitor and go at Amari Cooper. He's not one of those type of people you can just rah rah at. He might just fully cave on you. So you got to be definitely careful about that. CeeDee Lamb was out. We already know CeeDee Lamb has already been out with COVID prior, but that was the preseason. So we all have to see how things unfold. Now, here's the difference, right? We have Micah Parsons, who was out of the Mavs game, having a good time, doing the same old thing that Amari and CeeDee was doing. Got COVID, will not be playing on Saturday. Possibly, there's a possibility he can return, right? But see, like, Micah comes out. He's like, man, I feel bad. I let my team down. I let y'all down, Cowboys Nation. So Micah is playing the game to perfection. Micah is a mastermind. Like I said before, whoever Micah Parsons' team is around him, they're doing an incredible job because he gave Dallas Cowboys fans the proper answer that we wanted to hear like hey my bad i messed up i let y'all down it's not going to happen again but you're hearing with some of these players they're pushing the blame elsewhere are you in a slump nah i'm not in a slump i don't believe i'm in a slump <laughs> bam you're in a slump clearly we see you're in a slump right mike mccarthy comes out and says a few things and he presses back to the media so you know i really like when players take self-accountability now here's the thing and my concern with this Dak Prescott, the leader of the team, came out and said we need to be more responsible. You know, how we're dealing with this whole COVID situation. Stay inside. Like, you know, it's a team thing. Demarcus Lawrence even came out and spoke. But then you're still seeing players out, right? So what is the sentiments really going on in the locker room? Like, this is not the time to be 
divided in the locker room different situations we have to be in sync now i know there's other variables that goes on with it but we do have tyron smith out we do have micah as mentioned mike mccarthy mentioned that trayvon Diggs is under the weather also donovan wilson now is that a smokescreen possibly possibly because here's what i'm thinking and just like me like and i'm not even out there on the field y'all i'm tired of this regular season stuff bro i am exhausted i am ready to get up out of here like let's get to the nitty gritty of the playoffs so you know sometimes throughout the course of a season you just wear down you get tired of hearing so and so talk to you like bro just stop talking to me right and so i feel like right now mike mccarthy is trying to rest a few players whether it's COVID related or not right this game on sunday i know it's the eagles cowboys nation i know it's the eagles we do not like the eagles they do not like us they have players and starters out with COVID. i do not see the benefit personally of playing our starters now you're going to have our starting quarterback Dak prescott out there without your starting left tackle the reward is not worth the risk of course tampa could lose of course the cardinals could lose of course the rams could all three lose on sunday and we could propel to the the number two c right but cowboys nation let's keep it a buck we missed our opportunity to be a number two c when we lost on sunday it just is what it is you gotta take your lumps right we had an opportunity we fell short we're probably going to be the fourth seat maybe we can move to the third seat but i don't see that happening at all so to run a lot of our starter and core guys out there and risk them to possibly injury and it doesn't have to be a big injury it could be you know a hamstring or a quad or a calf we know how calves were killing us early in the season i just don't think it's worth the risk and i feel like the momentum that you get from playing versus a philly jv team it's not going to do much we just went through that when we dog walked washington we thought we were in a rhythm we played arizona and got punched in the mouth right so i want this team rested relax have a team day go out to a movie go bowling slap each other with monkey butt sit in the locker room play the shooting game for a little bit get back to having fun first and foremost especially offensively this team has to get back they're so tense they're so stressed they're so because they want to get back to where they know they can be but everyone right now just doesn't feel in sync and it's starting to concern me also another huge concern and my guy pat rick no c definitely follow my guy on twitter he does great great dallas cowboys content and coverage on cbs sports so john fossil came out and spoke and they asked him about greg the leg Missouri line being so inconsistent uh but he's he's said in a tweet john fossil points at may surgery as a reason cowboys kicker greg zerline is inconsistent also if you ever wanted to know what it looks like when a coach has his guy this is it a loaded answer is kicker including who to blame if it goes cost them the postseason game like it's just really like this is my guy if i mess up it's on me right because what fossil said he said it's probably going to be kind of like tampa you know had a couple of misses and then he comes back and hits some game winners part of this too is a product of he had the surgery in may so he missed a lot of spring and summer where he usually kind of finds that sweet spot training camp was just getting his leg back and being able to swing and so in a little bit of fairness to him greg he spent quite a bit of the time during the season doing what he normally do during the summer still trying to find that thing he's going to find it he's going to find it mark my words if not put that on me drewski mean what do you mean by that put that on you so if you go out there with a the guy who's extremely inconsistent we all know he's inconsistent he was inconsistent last year bro he, he wasn't he, we, he wasn't a free agent that we just added he was inconsistent last year but if he cost us the season, put it on bone. Does that mean fire you? Gonna lose your job? No, absolutely not. So, I mean, it is what it is when it comes to Greg Zerline. You know, we're just gonna have to endure this when we go throughout the season, the postseason. <sighs> but Woosa, breathe Cowboys Nation. Some good news though. My guy, Blake Jarwin. Yeah, drop a bomb for Blake Jarwin. Blake Jarwin return. Y'all like tough, bro. You're getting way too hype over Blake Jarwin. Yeah, and what? I'm excited for some 12 formation and hopefully they can help the run game, right? But Blake Jarwin could possibly be returning on Saturday. 
So, you know, the conversation, would he be back or not? From the conversation where it sounds like with Mike McCarthy, if tomorrow's practice goes well, you could see Blake Jarwin out on the field on Sunday. Now, that's a game that he needs to be played. Blake Jarwin can play on or Saturday, actually. I keep saying Sunday, but it's Saturday. We got flexed, right? Blake Jarwin out there. Kelvin Joseph can get some reps because Anthony Brown will be out as well. Maybe get some Nashawn Wright. Maybe get some Semi Fioko. Maybe get some Connor McGovern out there and some Terrence Steele and some Cooper Rush. If the starters are going to play, this must be a preseason like environment where it's, hey, maybe a quarter, quarter and a half, and then everyone's coming off the field. Because, like I said, I do not see that advantage of rushing our guys out there and risking the possibility of injury before playoffs. But it is what it is, Cowboys Nation. With this COVID thing, like I've been saying, it's just a coin flip. And it takes the air out of a lot of NFL football fans because you just don't know. You really don't, right? And I feel like during the playoffs, there's going to be some teams that get hit. Let's just hope it's not us, man. So it's your boy, Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell to stay updated. I appreciate all the support. Like I said, follow me on Twitter at JTuck151. Instagram and TikTok, JTuck151. And of course, CowboysFansOnly.com to get your merch, man. Hey, Cowboys Nation. It's time to ride, though. I know we're tired. We're exhausted. 17 weeks. It's a lot of football. And we're just, we're just waiting to finally get there. We are going to get there. But until we do, namaste, namaste. Everyone have a good one. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And go Cowboys. Peace.